Bring Up the Bodies concerns the clash between Anne Boleyn and her family and Thomas Cromwell, a situation from which only one party is going to emerge as the victor. People say, do you like him? Actually, that's not my job, to like him or not like him. My job is to stand back and observe him, watch him work, and as far as I can pass no judgment. The reader knows what the fate of these people will be, but of course the people themselves don't know. So the tension and the horror, if you like, comes from the reader wondering how the character will react when their fate is made known to them. So the best documented life still has these gaps that only the imagination of the biographer or the novelist can fill. And obviously the novelist has more license. I think at the heart of historical fiction there's a trick, but it's a good trick. It's lifting the dead hand of determinism of the past and throwing contingency back into the process so that it seems that instead of being done and dusted, the past is the present. It is still enacting itself and everything is to play for all over again.